Hey, what's up, guys? I'm doing a Firefish deck profile. Uh, this is a, a really good deck profile, or a Firefish deck. Because I did test this on the Dwayne Network, like, once against, like, a, I think it was, like, a Blue Eyes deck or something like that. It had, like, Whitestone, Traden, uh, two Scrap Iron Scarecrows, and then, like, a Montage Dragon or whatever the heck. Or, I know it's a Montage Dragon, but I don't know what what kind of deck it was, but that was the deck that I played against on uh, Doing Network, and, and I beat him both, both times because this first game I was able to get out uh, like two ti two Lion Emperors, like a Tiger King, and then two Bears, and then be able to pop his monsters and everything, so it was a very easy win for me, but I don't know what the deck was, but if you guys know what deck that he actually used comment down below so I actually know but anyways with the deck profile three bear face supreme standard uh I play three wolf just to get my tanky or uh tinkin or whatever the effect that actually calls for uh adds like a card that I need to my field so still very good and then this is a three and four actually build too so I do play two more just to get out Kieran or another synchro monster and then I do play two dragon just to get rid of Tinky um, from my uh, field to the uh, to the graveyard to bring back a uh, another firefish monster, so very good. And then I play two Kerbu. This is basically your monster reborn of the deck. Because the effect says during the end phase of this card was sent to the graveyard because it was destroyed by a card effect and sent there this turn. You start to summon one no, four firefish monster for from your deck so it's basically a monster re reborn of the deck so it's very good and then basically your cyber dragon of the deck but the only fallback to that is that you have a you have to have a fire fraction on the field and then no monster so uh, it's still a very good card which two two kb or so still very good and then i play one spirit uh just to get out your current Kieran or a level 8 uh, synchro monster combined with uh, coyote so very good and then I play one hawk which he so very good and then for two check tech choices I have um, I play one thunder king just to prevent special summons and all that uh, very good card and then I count this as a staple I know everybody else doesn't but I count this as a staple for firefish um, because this basically lets you prevent let, lets your opponent prevent them from playing a any XC's monster XYZ uh, summon so this card uh, helps you I know they can get out there Synchro monsters, but it just prevents them from summoning a XC's monsters. Right, so I thought you guys, but anyways, um, yeah, it's still a very good card, and then there's the effect. But um, yeah, so that's basically it for the monsters. I I think it's a pretty good uh, monster lineup. So, and then for spells, basically pretty standard, but there is a couple changes I did with the spell lineup. Uh, three Tenki, basically pretty standard. Uh, three Tensu, I know some people play one, some people play two. I play three because I'm playing a lot of Fire Fist, so it helps. So, and then two Kyoko, um, Hells with locking down my opponent's spells or traps that I need. 
needs a lockdown, so very good. And then this is where it gets interesting. I uh, played two ground collapse. Um, this works. This will work good against uh, heretics or any deck that requires uh, their field to have more than one monster. And I misread the effect. Um, it sent suck two hard zones on the field. Yeah, I feel a little focus. Yeah, I always read to you. But it's like two monster card zones on the field. You cannot select a zone occupied with monsters. The selected zones cannot be used as long as this card remains face up on the field. So, if you had three, you could lock down your opponent's whole field and be able to make them not do squat. So. This is a very good card, and uh, I don't, I know some Firefish decks don't even play this in their deck, so but I play it just to uh, lock down my punch field and make them only be able to play one monster. So, still very good. And then, uh, three MSTs just for more back row removal. Basically, same thing as Kyoko, but only destroys a monster. And then one for Ren and Lance to protect my bear or my firefish monsters, so still very good. So that's basically it for Spows. Now for Traps. I played D two D Prisons. Uh, very good. Uh, one Phoenix Chain. Still very good too. Uh, one Torrential. St uh, still very good. Basically bomb their whole field and then uh, just spam just stuff like that and then one Tenson and one Tenkin uh, both very good basically a thousand point rush recklessly and then this helps protect your beach warrior monster from torrential or anything or anything like that and then uh, mind drain also very good against heretics is a Summon from the hand, so makes them not be able to do anything, and then also good with effect bearer and other stuff. So, still very good. And then one mirror force, uh, if it was at two, I'd be playing two, or if I had to, I'd be playing two. So, but I mean, one one's good for now, and then one bomb and shop hole for mirror match, and also other stuff. Yep, that's actually my main deck. It's 40 cards. Um, and then for extra deck, one Tire King. If if I had two more of these, I'd be playing three, but um, I don't at the moment, so. And then two Lion Emperor, also very good. Uh, helps recycle your bear from the graveyard, so very good. And then one Diamond Dire Wolf. Very good too. And then one Vinyl to Sigma, also really good. Uh, and then for Synchros, uh, one Kieran for three axes. And then also Starter Strain, also very good. And then one Scrap, and then one Crimson Blair. So, yeah, that's basically my uh, fire, three and four axes Firefish deck. Hope you guys enjoyed the video. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe for more Yu-Gi-Oh content. And I will, and I will see you guys later. All right, later guys.